Hello everyone. Today we are going to talk about re-level front-end development test. We are going to talk about rounds in front-end development test and we'll talk about, we'll discuss in detail syllabus of the front-end development role at re-level, means the test syllabus. So if you are not familiar with re-level, re-level is a hiring platform where you can decide which role you want, front-end development, back-end development, business development. And today I'll be talking about only the front-end development roles and the syllabus and test rounds. Before that, if you are new to my channel and haven't subscribed it yet, then guys, I will highly recommend you to please press the subscribe button because on this channel, you'll find so many informative videos related to company's recruitment process, interview process, interview experiences, how you can break any interview and career guide related to how you can grow your career in industry and everything related to inside organization. So if you haven't subscribed it yet, please go ahead and press the subscribe button. Also press the bell icon. So whenever I'm uploading a new video, you'll get to know. Now let's get started. So as you can see here on my screen, uh, this is the re-level platform. And on that, first you need to go to the get hired. Once you click on that, you will be landing over here where you can see three roles, front-end development, back-end development, business development. So today I'm going to talk about only the front-end development test and syllabus. Now let's move on. Here you can see front-end development test, uh, worth 15 LPA, XYZ things. Now if you come down, there is a document. So what you need to do, you need to download this brochure and you here you can see the test round and everything, every detail of the front end development test. Same as you can download this brochure for back end development and business development if you are applying for that. Now let's proceed with that. Uh, I will be talking about the rounds and the syllab test syllabus. As you can see here, there are five rounds at three level. Now it, this five rounds will not be happening five times. One first two round will be happening together, then the second, uh, you know, two round, then at last your, your interview will be conducted. So basically there will be two round and one interview. So let's talk about, briefly talk about the what will be happening at the first two round. So the syllabus for the first two round is back to basics and access to algo. We'll talk about that. What is it? In round three, we have create your feature and optimize your feature. In round five, you have face-to-face -face interview. Now the timing you can see if it is starting at 8.30, then it will be lasting till 11.30. And same as around two, if it is starting at 1 p.m., it will be go till 5 p.m. But the timing and the schedule, everything you can decide by yourself. You can choose your slot, book your slot at any time, at any comfort time of yours. Now let's get started with the syllabus of the round one and two. Back to basic. This round consists of 30 questions wherein the candidate is tested on the soundness of the computer science and front-end development fundamentals. Means this round is like basic questions on computer fundamentals and the front-end development front-end uh, front fr fundamentals. Now the candidate are expected uh, are expected to question around the core concept of computer science like computer network, operating system, basic programming, database, HTML, CSS, JavaScript, XYZ. Okay, so these are the this this is the syllabus for back to basics. Now in access your algo, it will be of one and a half hour. And in this round, the candidate is expected to answer three coding questions that that test their programming solving skills and algorithmic thinking the candidate are required to code in the provided integrated development okay they will be providing their ide and you need to code over there and solve the code coding challenges within the time period and the time period is one and a half hour now in the round two which is three and four round will be conducted means three and four months the section is three and four in round two, what will happen? Create your feature. In this round, the candidate is required to code and develop the front end of the web application using React. And the candidate will be provided with the problem statement and user story. Okay, you will get your problem statement. You need to design the front end. If you know React or front end language, then you can design it. Now within two, two hours, the candidate is expected to build the solution and also provide the screen recording explaining the code and functionality of the application he or she has developed. 
Now the next thing in the round two is optimize your feature. In this round, the candidate is asked to extend the functionality of the app inbuilt uh, in the previous round by either expanding the scope of the feature or by adding the new feature. Means you need to uh, optimize your feature or you need to add some feature. In this round, the candidate ex is expected to submit the solution and provide a screen recording explaining what they have done. Now the last round is face to face interview in this round which will be happening uh, like between 45 to 1 hour in this round a senior front end okay leader will test the candidate's ability to build product and work well with the product team in an organization the candidate will be grilled on the fundamentals of alg algorithm along with the concept in object oriented programming and front end development framework the candidate might also be interviewed in on the project they mentioned on resume and asked to solve problems live through the screen sharing. So guys, this is a huge way to explore yourself. Means at least you are going to get some idea like what is happening, what kind of questions may come in if you are going for a front end development role. So those who have planned their future in front end development, they should definitely take this test. And guys, it does not require what number of experience you have or whether you have zero year of experience or you are undergraduate even then you can apply for this test and you can get a job so it's not a degree based job at real level you get your job based on your skills if you have the skills you get the job because you see the rounds are quite pretty much pretty much you know a uh, very quality kind of round so you can see uh, they are selecting candidate uh, the quality qu candidate because the packages on re level is quite huge you can see some of the companies i will list down here these are the few company which i'm listing here cred uh, you can see super daily digit uh, gamescraft as you can see the packages is quite huge at re level 14 to 30 L 38 lpa for cred and 15 to 23 lpa for gamescraft and best in industry for digit and super daily is offering 15 to 28 lpa so as you can see the difference is quite huge the packages on re-level is quite huge so they will definitely expect from you something that you have little knowledge on front end if you have decided to go into front end then i would be definitely assuming that you have some knowledge basic knowledge in front end development now here are the list of the companies for front-end development. To get into more detail, you can check out the links in description box and you can proceed with that. Wherever your interest is, just check out, check out the download the brochure, check out the syllabus, prepare for it, take one test. Suppose even if you could not crack it, then you can take another test within 13 days, 30 days. After 30 days, you can take another test. So that's cool, right? Um, Nobody is going to judge you over here. Test yourself on re-level. It's free of cost. So all links are provided in the description. If you are interested, please go ahead and proceed with that. Hope this video was informative to you. If it was informative to you, don't forget to press thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed it yet. Thank you guys. Thank you for watching.